Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm, I'm filming a really fun collab video with two of my Galentines, I guess I should say, here on YouTube, Amy and Angelica. We decided it would be so fun to spread some positivity on the internet today. I know for some people, Valentine's Day can be really hard on their mental health, especially because, you know, people have different issues with being alone or, you know, you're maybe going through some tough times. Anyway, I'm here for you, Angie's here for you, Amy's here for you. I'm just like handing them out like, oh yeah, we're we're all each other's Galentine's today. So if nobody's wished you yet, happy, happy Valentine's Day. Whether you are single, married, or in a relationship, you can choose what level of celebration is right for you. I thought it would be fun to get together with my friends since we obviously can't hang out in person and use some products from women-owned makeup brands. I just thought it would be a fun way to kind of show you guys different brand owners, different products, different categories. It's gonna be a good time. I did walk around and shop my stash a little bit, so you guys might get to see some products you didn't know I had or products I just haven't used on my channel in a while. So this is gonna be a really exciting video. Thank you to Angie and Amy for collabing with me. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into the eye look because I always do my eyes first. So I kind of couldn't decide. I know my Melt Modern Love palette is on its way to me. So I thought I could maybe film that, but I kind of want to do that as a separate video. So I decided to go a little bit old school and pick out two palettes. I'm still not sure. I did see my friend um, Diaries of a beauty guru a recently hauled this berries and cream palette from um, Kristen Dominique and Dominique Cosmetics and she created a beautiful eye look with this one and so I was like oh I could use that and then I recently posted a older video of mine that I had filmed a while ago for vlogmas and never posted and in that video I had talked to you guys saying I was maybe gonna declutter this palette I did actually end up keeping it and many of you in that video were like no it's it's not discontinued, keep it, use it, it's beautiful. So I have both of those and they're both female owned brands. One is a much smaller indie brand based in the UK I believe and then Kristen Dominique is a influencer. So maybe I'll use both, I don't know. I cleaned all my brushes to get ready for this video. Who am I? Little update for all of you who are always concerned about me being out of breath. Did go to the doctor, did get an inhaler. I have an inhaler already but I got more inhalers, so again, I'm fine, guys, and I'm sorry if I go out of breath. It's just the time of year. Some things like agitated my asthma, so here we are. And this Berries and Cream palette is kind of one that's on my, like, might be decluttered this year list, so I definitely want to use that in a video, but right now I feel like these purples are really, like, calling to me. <sighs> Ooh, but I also really like the shade Re. I'm just gonna start by putting the shade Re in my crease and we'll just see what happens. So I'm filming this on Sunday. It's actually Oscar Sunday. So my friend actually is having like a little Oscar get together. It's gonna be fun. It's just gonna be like in your pajamas, like casual fun, but I'm excited. I don't know. I haven't watched the Oscars. I don't think in a hot second. I've been like, really obsessed with watching like halftime shows because I'm like I really liked this last one and so I'm like oh remember this one remember that one and <clears throat> I've just been revisiting Super Bowl shows and yeah you guys should let me know down in the comments if you're like team Shakira or team JLo or maybe both like did you think they were both equally good I know some people said they thought, they thought Shakira's vocals were better. So that's why I was like watching it because I was like, I don't know anything about singing, so I shouldn't be the one to have this conversation with. But I thought they were so good. And like, I just thought it was so cute that JLo's daughter um, sang with her. Like that was such a nice little like way to incorporate her kid. And I didn't really get the whole like, I mean, I don't have kids, so I guess I don't really understand. But, like I said, I've been watching older Super Bowl videos or Super Bowl halftime show videos on YouTube and I didn't think, like, 
their outfits were any like less or more sexier than other female performers so you guys will have to let me know what your thoughts are i know where i live and like on my facebook i felt like a lot of people had a lot of different opinions about that so i'd be curious to hear you guys um and i did go back and like i think my favorite one is beyonce because i mean come on destiny's child was back on stage for that that was amazing <laughs> I love Beyonce so much. So anyway, end rant there. I really like how this shade blended and it's such a beautiful blue green shade. Why do all my looks just end up being so quick? Let's see if there's a color. Maybe I'll try and put some of this blueberry muffin um, in my crease with the same brush. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I should have dusted my brush off. See, the thing, I want to like Dominique Cosmetics so bad like right now <laughs> i told angie and amy i was like that freaking latte 2 palette is gonna be the death of me because i want it so bad but i know like if i get it i'm gonna be kind of disappointed i just feel like i'm gonna be because like i watched michelle wong's um video um she did like a review of it, it was her first time trying the brand and it didn't seem like she was very jazzed with the formula and that's very much the same experience i've had with it so I'm like, ah, uh, don't do it. Don't break your low buy rules to get a palette that you're not gonna like. And then you're gonna have to tell people you broke your rules. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen my January makeup haul, you should go watch it because I talk about my January um, products that I purchased in there. And I also have a ranking video of my January palettes as well as just ranking some of the new palettes I tried in January coming up so definitely definitely stay tuned for that well I really like how this turned out I'm gonna throw in a little bit of this shade ash which is a black at the very outer corner I should probably use a smaller brush for this but oh well okay I'm gonna stop there and I think, now I need to figure out a lid shade. Hmm. Uh-oh, this is gonna be tough. I don't see anything in the Dominique palette. <clears throat> I feel like I need to go green because that's kind of what I picked out. Okay, I'm gonna try Shea, which is like an olive green in the Blush Shy palette. I'm gonna use my finger because this doesn't seem like it's gonna be very pigmented. So I just wanna try and see if I can get some pigmentation with the finger. I think I really like the mattes in this palette and I like the colors they put together in this one. It's like the a very fun green blue purple palette ah I just stuck my finger in a non shimmer shade that would have been bad I do like how this color is kind of like it looks really dark in the pan but it's mixing with the shade re and it's making it look very beautiful mm -mm. I don't hate that Okay, so just to help blend, I just need to grab another brush. Let me just grab a flat brush. I haven't used a blush tribe palette in a hot second. I had the, like their pastel one, it was called like Bloom or something. And that one um, was... I never used it and I think that one got discontinued so I did sell that one on my Poshmark with the Hasina. The shades did kind of keep me wanting to hold on to this so I'm glad I did because the mattes are really pretty. The shimmers I'm not so sold on but that's okay. So I'm just blending. Wow this is like very smoky. And very green, very opposite of Valentine's Day. I put on a pink shirt thinking, what if I go for the berry tones? But I live for blue and green eyeshadow shades. So 
that is all I'm gonna do there. So now I'm gonna wet my sponge and I will be right back. Okay, got a wet sponge. I wanna add a little pizzazz to this look because I'm like, it's Valentine's Day, like, let's add some glitter. So this is not a women-owned makeup brand, but it used to be at one point. Um, Wendy, I believe, was the name of the owner of Urban Decay, and I'm just using this uh, heavy metal glitter liner in the shade Stage Dive. It's like this beautiful green glitter shade, which I love. And these ones, it's so weird. They sting a little. I mean, they don't like kill me, but they do sting a little, and I've definitely heard other people say that too. So let me know if Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners make your eyeballs sting. So there was a little fallout. I don't have a makeup wipe handy, so I'm just gonna blend that into my skin. And then today, I'm gonna use one of my favorite foundations by Huda Beauty, also women owned. I haven't used this in a while, and it is a thick, thick foundation. You don't need a lot. I think I just put too much on my hand, but oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, I definitely don't need any more. Wow, this color. What is going on? I think I can make this work though with, I think it, I think this oxidizes. <laughs> I hope it does. Holy moly. I did not, I have not worn this in a long time, so I didn't realize that it was that off. Holy crap. This is so full coverage. It's one of my favorite foundations to wear. Where? I wanna be a cake face. Whoa. <laughs> So if you have really dry skin, which I kind of do, but I always hydrate when I use a full coverage foundation. So be warned if you have really dry skin, you might not like this foundation. Okay, so for female owned concealer, I used up my Fenty concealer and I also used to have the Huda concealer, but I decluttered that. So I'm just gonna use my usual concealer. So I did blend that concealer under my eyes. I got a phone call, so I had to pick that up. Sorry about that. And then for setting my under eyes, I'm gonna use a Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is like her famous powder. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish in number two, medium. And I like this color. I know my friend, Amanda, I believe is her name. There's so many Amandas. I'm sorry. Um, she was trying to figure out because she said that she wasn't sure based off of like my skin tone and her skin tone. Two works for me. I feel like three was too dark. I can't remember why I settled on three. Maybe because Desi uses three. I Two. Sorry, not three. Two. I don't know. I have no clue, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that shade works for me. So Okay, bronzer time. I do have... Fenty Beauty Bronzer, Sunstalker Bronzer in Camel Cutie. So female owned, technically, is Fenty female? I mean, it's Rihanna's brand. I don't know if she owns it all on her own or if it's like a Kendo brand, if it's like half hers or what the deal is. I'm not quite sure these days, um, but I'm using my Tom Ford bronzer brush, which I have been putting to use because I feel like I never use this brush enough and I'm like, you know what? Screw it. It's like a hundred something dollar brush. I need to use it more. So got that. And then for female owned blush, I have the Melt Sundown blush. This is gorgeous blush shade. It's like a neutral beauty color. So Ooh, I, <laughs> I love this. I need to buy all the Melt blush. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like a highlighty blush. Love that. And then for highlighter, I decided to pull out an oldie but a goodie. This is the I Love Sarah EX Dose of Color collab and the shade is called Soulmate. Isn't that perfect? 
Whew. Packing a punch, girlfriend. Oh my god, okay. Mm -hmm. I put a ton of lip balm on. Sometimes I can get a little carried away with the lip balm situation. I'm gonna spray my face and then I'm gonna do my brows. So for the spray, I did use the Ofra Makeup Fixer. Uh, that spray is intense. I felt like I was taking a shower. So just give that a second to dry down. Okay, before I do my brows, I wanna do my lower lash line. And for my lower lash line, I did grab Linda Hallberry's Mood Crayon in Cool Mood. And I'm gonna throw that in my waterline. Ooh, that's such a pretty blue. Love it. And I'm gonna grab my Hasina palette and a Sonia G brush, also women owned. Okay, I think I got it. And I'm gonna grab into my palette of special shades. And I'm going into my Davina Sugar Drop um, iridescent shadows and I'm just patting on a shade. Ooh, that's so pretty. This is called Suggies. I hope I said that right. But I'm gonna go ham because it's pretty. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, so I need to do my brow still. I've been putting off the brow situation, so let's just get that over with. We're gonna do Anastasia. So I've been really lazy about my brows lately and just using that particular L'Oreal product and just like coating it on my brows. But today I'm gonna use my Anastasia brow powder and this little brush from AOA Studio to just fill in the brows. A tish bit. My brows are in like serious need of saving. I need to get them done, but somebody paid all her bills this month and now she's making small sacrifices to not overspend this month, which is uh, a big deal for me. And I'll just get them done when I get paid next time. Okay, so this product is like my very favorite thing I discovered this year. It's L'Oreal and it has the coolest brush. And I just like love to make my brows look really messy with it. And then as time goes by, it just slowly down, you know, for mascara. I got a little sample of the Fenty Beauty, what is this called? Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. So that's gonna be my mascara that I'm gonna use today. I haven't heard much about this. Oh no, I actually, I have heard quite a bit about this mascara. I think Samantha March got a sample too. Um, I have so many like, backup mascaras that I've purchased so I can't really buy mascara right now so I'm happy to have a sample. This thing has an interesting brush. It has like a fluffy big side and then you can turn it on the side and it's like thin. Do you see that? Okie dokie! I like that! Okay and then for lippies of course I had to grab my Pat McGrath lippies and I think I'm gonna go for Flesh 3 which is one of her matte lipsticks. I wasn't sure if I wanted, I think I'm gonna go matte because I did grab some of her lip glosses as well, but I do like this with the matte lips. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and finish up my hair, put some earrings on, and I will be back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I really like how this turned out. So happy I held on to my Blush Tribe Hasina 2 palette just to be able to create this really fun look. And I did get a little bit of help from my Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream palette as well. So 
yeah, look at me using stuff that isn't the latest and greatest and hopefully you guys will still like this video. Let me know if I should do a look with the berries and cream palette. I kind of want to do like palette reckoning videos where I use them one last time before I decide like should I declutter it or not. I have been doing a ton of decluttering you guys. I think you would be so surprised. I know for me it's been so great to just kind of like pare things down and keep the best of the best in my collection. It's been really, really fun for me. So anyway, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see on my channel. Leave me a comment. Happy, happy Valentine's Day, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you stuck with me to the end. If you did comment a heart emoji for me, that would totally make my day. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And thank you to my girls, Angie and Amy, for doing this collab with me. And I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye, guys! <laughs>